The event here is called a stamping party because notaries public are certifying signatures, but the forms would still have to be certified by the school district. This is the form parents have to fill out and sign to get an exemption for their students. The options include either a medical or a religious conflict. Those forms are being notarized at the library to turn in to the school district. School board candidate Whitney Smith McIntosh helped organize the so-called stamping party. My only issue with the entire process is that there is a mandate now that every child has to be masked. Now, whether I agree with the science behind it or not, I don't agree with the school making a medical decision for every family in the school. Dozens of parents signed up for the event, but others in the school district are watching with disgust and concern. Everyone had to wear masks last year, and there weren't stamp parties. Katie Bird has a daughter in second grade. She wishes more students had been wearing masks all along. My daughter just got over COVID, and I have long COVID myself. So everything that we can do to protect the children is what I want to do, and I think that it's an interesting way to kind of skirt what the majority wants. Smith McIntosh insists the event is not political and that she's not encouraging people to get out of the requirement, but she does say parents should have a choice. I've gotten a lot of pushback, um, but it comes with the territory. People aren't going to agree with me, and I'm fine with that. Um, and it actually spawns a lot of conversation. Now, we did reach out to the school district for comment. We did not hear back while the event is going on. We're live in Altoona. Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News.